part of it is, for years she never got many letters. <laughs> and now all of a sudden all this fan mail. <laughs> and I don't know, it's going to have to go back or the dead letter office. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't she look good? No! This is good. This is dead. <laughs> Rose. Darling, I just wanted you to know that I got a job with a new paper. Writing the obituary. And if you think your last review was bad. <laughs> You're late for your next appointment, Rose. <laughs> she's gone! She's gone! But she leaves behind quite a mystery. The balance of her bank account? No. <laughs> her sex life? No. Her murder? How? No. Her age? Oh. <laughs> Rose, when I told you your motivation was to bring us out of the depression, I never dreamed you'd do such a good job. <laughs> Now that she's gone, they'll have to cast a new rose. That means we'll have to start all over again. More hours of rehearsal. New photo sessions. Long, technical run-throughs. Yes! <laughs> oh, Rose, remember that bus you wanted me to catch? Well, it looks like it hit you. <laughs> Rose, for the first time, you don't have two left feet. <laughs> Rose, I know that you and I didn't have a very good working relationship, but I want you to know that I always admired you from afar, very far. <laughs> but I was always jealous of your early career, I remember my grandmother telling me when she was a little girl, five years old, her grandmother took her to see you in the first production of Tobacco Road. But your earlier career must have been so exciting. I mean, it's the opening act for Jenny Lind. And then to be a part of history. I mean, you were right on stage at Ford Theater on that fateful night when that shot rang out. And John Wilkes Booth ran down and jumped down onto the stage and ran across it, thus ending your affair with him. <laughs> oh, I guess I shouldn't have said that. Well, we've all pa passed a lot of water since then anyway. <laughs> Rose, what I really wanted to say is, I just can't tell you how badly I feel about all this. <laughs> going to rehearse my number. Are we at a funeral? That's me. I feel groggy and weary and tragic, punchy and bleary and fresh out of magic, but not alive, not alive, not alive. I feel twitchy and bitchy and manic. Calm and collected and chocolatic, but not alive, not alive, not alive. I'm a thousand different people, every single one is real. I've a million different feelings, okay, but at least I feel. And I feel rotten yet covered with roses. Younger than springtime and older than Moses. Frisky as a lamb. 
lazy as a clam. Crazy, but I'm not alive. I feel wicked and wacky and mellow. Firm as Gibraltar and shaky as Jello. But not alive, not alive, not alive. I feel half Tijuana, half Boston, partly Jane Bonda and partly Jane Austen. But not alive, that's the thing, not alive. This is nice to meet you. You're great. Bro, love you. Yeah. This kaleidoscope of feeling whirls around its my brain. I admit I'm slightly cuckoo, but it's dull to be too sane. And I feel brilliant and brash and bombastic, limp as a puppet and simply fantastic. But not alive, not alive, not alive. She's here, I can't believe it. She's here, oh God, I can't believe it. She's here, it's just to ruin your jubilee. But it's dull to be too sane. And I feel brilliant.